is infinity, infinity is peace. From infinity we all came into existence. In infinity we grow at the end of our journey's close. Into infinity we retire. Again, from infinity, when infinity is taken away, infinity remains the same. In infinity is peace. Forward we walk to receive glories. Inward we dive to achieve peace. Forward we march to conquer the world. Inward we dive to embrace the world. Forward we run to arrive at the goal. Inward we dive to become the goal itself. Where is the beauty of peace? The beauty of peace is in dedication, world service. Where is the fragrance of peace? The fragrance of peace is in aspiration and ever climbing cry from the depth of our heart. Why do I not have, when do I not have even an iota of peace. Being a seeker, a God lover, I do not have even an iota of peace when God is compassionately takes my side Being a seeker, truth seeker, and God lover, when do I have infinity peace? I have infinity peace when I am cheerfully and self-givingly on God's side. Peace applauds peace. Unrest fights unrest. Love ascends 
peace descends. Love says, I certainly have. Peace says, I soulfully am. Joy is in self-giving. Peace is in God becoming. Peace is the expanding heart of infinity. Peace is the enlightening breath of immortality. A man of peace does not prove he just improves, improves himself. God himself extols the human being to the skies who has discovered in life his life's sole purpose, peace. Some are blindly searching for world peace everywhere, while others are desperately searching. Still others are soulfully, self-givingly, and sleeplessly searching for world peace. But they do not know that peace has sempiternally been in the heart of aspiring humanity. Again, to have peace within is not enough. We needs must bring to the fore and offer it to the world at large. As long as our mind is forced by the desired world to carry the heavy and useless burden of thought. We can have no peace. The mind needs an indomitable will to go far beyond the domains of the thought world to be inundated with infinite peace. When our hearts of the sky high aspiration cries, we discover peace blossoms in our heart garden. The mental peace is no peace. It is a fleeting breath. The intellectual peace is no peace. Sooner than at once, it disappears. The compromising peace ends before it begins. Peace knows not peace talkers and peace preachers. Peace knows well, very well, only the peace dreamers and peace servers, the, the intimate and indispensable friends of peace. At the end of our journey's close, when we enter into the heaven, God does not measure our earthly life's prosperity power, he only measures our earthly life's peace towers. <coughs> the choices child of Norway, the first Secretary General of the United Nations, Trigvi Lee has so clearly and puissantly 
voiced forth the achievements of the United Nations. The United Nations has not yet been able to enforce peace, but it has been able to persuade nations to keep the peace and to bring them back to the conference table when they threaten to fight each other or even after they started fighting. Being the first Secretary General, he wisely advised his successors what he himself practiced in his own term while he was serving the United Nations. It is necessary for the Secretary General to act with full realization of the consequences of taking public positions on matters closely affecting the peace of the world. At the same time, there have been and will be issues that affect the well-being and even perhaps the very life itself of the United Nations. On such occasions, I believe with all my heart and soul that it is necessary for the Secretary General to speak out for what he believes to be right. His was the dauntlessly prophetic utterance. The United Nations is the supreme law of the world. May Trigvelli's loftiest vision be manifested here on earth. I have peace when my life becomes a mountain of smiles. I have peace when my heart becomes a fountain of tears. I have peace when my entire being unconditionally surrenders to God's will. I have boundless peace when I succeed in pleasing the human in me God, the creation. I have boundless peace when I succeed in fulfilling the divine in me, God, the creator.
ਕਿ ਜਾ ਮਰ ਬੋਲੇ ਜਾ ਕਿ
ডাকিয়নি
माता शोभा मानो नुहारा का सुबोध जो चुन माता शोभा मानो नुहारा Oh. 